The John Morris Show, episode 121. Put on your tinfoil hats because we are going to be talking about UFOs. <laughs> okay, just kidding. The John Morris Show. Your life on code. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Morris. Hey everybody, welcome back to The John Morris Show, johnmorrisonline.com. We're going to be talking about the new spaceship operator in PHP 7. And I'm going to give you... A little bit of usage and then show you an example of what this does and how it helps save you writing a lot of code. And ultimately, that's the idea behind it is it's to help cut down on certain sorts of, of routines that you might write in your code to the amount of code it takes to actually do those. All right. So what is the spaceship operator? Well, it looks like this right here. It's a less than sign, an equal sign, and then a greater sign. And the thing to get about it that's different than probably some of the other comparison operators like this is that it's a trinary operator, which was a new word when I heard it. <laughs> but unlike the other comparisons where it's binary, where it's either true or false, this one actually will give you three different responses based off of what the comparison result is. Now, as you might imagine, based off what the, the, the operator actually is, those comparisons are less than, equal to, or greater than. So what it does is, you let's say you're comparing two numbers. So let's say you're comparing one and two. So it's gonna check to see if one is less than, equal to, or greater than two. And then it's gonna root out, or it's gonna return a, uh, a result based off what the result is. So one being less than two, it's going to return negative one. So if A is less than B in your comparison, it's going to return negative one. If A is equal to B, then it's going to return zero. And if A is greater than B, then it's going to return one. And so uh, you can see here these three different options I have here. I have one, I'll call this spaceship two, and it outputs negative one. We can see that in our output over here, we get a negative one. Uh, one spaceship one, then it returns zero. And we can see in our output here, we get a zero. And one spaceship zero should return one. And you can see it does over here. All right, so that's what it does. Now, how might you use this sort of thing? Well, here's uh, in before PHP 7, kind of a common routine you might use for some sort of comparison. And what this does, you know, a lot of times something like this might be used for sorting. So you might use a function like usort. And what usort allows you to do is sort an array by values using a user-defined comparison function. So that user-defined comparison function is where this comes into play. So you could, you know, there's all different ways that you could sort it. One of those ways is to compare the lengths of the values of each of the values in the array and then sort them by that length, right? So you need a comparison function that'll do that for you. So before PHP 7, you can see this compare length function we have here. We pass in the two thing, the things that we want to compare, and then we, we use string length to get the string length. And then right down here, we have to do this kind of long convoluted if else statement. So if if A is less than B, return negative one. And we're, we're basically doing what the spaceship operator does, but we have to do it in kind of three if else statements. So if A is less than B, if A is equal to B, and if A is greater than B. So again, we'd have to write that all out manually. And what the spaceship operator does is it eliminates the need to do that. So now we have this new one where we still pass in our, our parameters here, and then we get the string length of the two and we can just use the spaceship operator. So it takes, what, six, seven lines of code here and turns it into one line of code. Okay, so in this particular function, that saves you a little bit of code, but if this is something that you're doing quite a bit throughout, for, for whatever reason in your application, you have to have multiples of these, saving those, those lines of code save you time writing the code, also saves you a lot of time processing in the back end and PHP and so forth. So. Again, that's why the spaceship op operator was created. The spaceship operator, as far as I can tell, 
was kind of what you might call a grassroots kind of, of addition to PHP. It was something that I've seen was added in some other uh, frameworks and so forth and, and PHP and a lot of people were kind of clamoring for it or a certain segment of people were clamoring for it and it ended up getting added to PHP 7. So there's definitely some usefulness here. So if you look at, if we run our, we have our names array down here, we'll go ahead and move this up. But if you see, this is not in or, any sort of order here. It's not an alphabetical order. It's not in length order or anything like that. But if we run it through use sort and we pass it to this compare length function, the old way, and then we print out the names, you can see that these are now in length order. So Ty, Bob, Jeff, Johnny. So shortest amount of characters up to the longest amount. If we change this to then compare length new, then this is going to use now our new function that's using PHP 7 and using our spaceship operator. So we can see if we're able to then get the same result from using this as we would from having to use all of this long, complicated code that we have up here. All right, so if we come over here and we refresh this, then you're going to see that the, the output actually doesn't change. It's the exact same. So, and, and that's the point. That's what it should be because now we're using this new uh, streamlined code and we're still getting the same result as we did with this old, long, convoluted code. All right, so that's what the spaceship operator does. Hold on, it, makes, it just makes it easier to write this kind of code. All right, so that's a little PHP goodness for you now. If you'd like to learn even more PHP, then what I want to rec recommend to you is to head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash learn PHP, and you can take my free PHP course that I have over there that's going to walk you really kind of A, through Z, A to Z through uh, all of the important things that you'll want to learn when it comes to PHP. And it's a completely free course that you can get access to. You just have to register uh, and then you'll be given immediate access to it. So again, that's johnmorrisonline.com slash learn PHP. You can get access to that course and keep advancing your PHP skills so you can make this your full-time career. All right, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you like this episode, be sure to like it so they know that you like this kind of content. If you know somebody who needs to learn more about the spaceship operator, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it with them. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so that you never miss an episode. And for those of you watching on YouTube, if you want to get the podcast only version of the show, you can head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash Android and access it via your Android device or johnmorrisonline.com slash iTunes. If you're an Apple fanboy. All right. Thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you next time.